Watson, heal! Uh, look, somebody tripped your alarm. I have to file a report. Just give me some details, please, please. The store's closed, kid. Uh, I believe this belongs to you. Mr. Spock, I oh, thought I'd never see you again. Watson. Haven't I seen you before? No, I, I have that kind of face. Oh, yeah, don't tell me. It's Captain Kirk, right? Uh, no, he, he's mine. Sorry, he gets a little excited sometimes. <laughs> So, Pete, uh, what I really need is an estimated dollar value of what's missing. Like I said, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a couple of puppies, uh, some... A couple of puppies didn't make this mess, Watson. tracks to you. like a baby tooth from a dinosaur. It's definitely reptilian. But the blood isn't. I analyzed the cells and they were donut shaped, which means it came from a mammal. So whoever stole it is wounded. And badly, judging by the razor sharp edge of that tooth. Maybe a small alligator? Alligators have four toes. This thing has five. And claws a couple of inches long. Judging by the mess it left in the shop, it's more than a meter long. What do you think it is? I don't know. But whatever was in that cage, it was important to Pete that the police didn't find out about it. Look, kid, I got a few things on my mind, like being robbed by some wacko. Wacko? Who takes two angelfish? One from the male tank and one from the female. Who takes 14 canaries and then leaves the rest? I just thought you might like to know what my uncle said. Why should I care what your uncle said? He hears things, you know, from the other. Police officers? Like, like what? They know. How could they? They put it together. It couldn't have been that hard. The tracks it left, the mess it left in your back room, that tooth. I just clinched it. They found a, a tooth? I'm afraid so. Oh, man. Oh. 
For 15 years, I I've been straight as a narrow. Mr. More Money Than Brains walks in. I, I, I tried to talk him into an iguana, or, or maybe a, a little savanna. No, no, he, he had to have it. He, he had to have a Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon is an endangered species of lizard, native to four islands in Indonesia. Ferocious carnivore, the Komodo can swallow a deer in just a few bites. Wicked. Why would anybody want to steal one? The Komodo is also known to feed off the rotting carcasses of dead animals. For this reason, its saliva contains deadly bacteria that kills wounded prey through infection. That must be why it rotted so fast. What did? This. Oh, sorry. That's gross. I found it near the empty cage. It's a veggie burger with pine nuts. The Komodo must have spit it out. Surely, the Komodo bit to whoever stole them. He's probably infected. We have to warn him. We have to find him first. We have three leads. Bloodstained fabric, the tire tracks, and the veggie burger. Oh, how many more of these things do we have to eat? We're looking for ones with pine nuts. Sure your friend don't want anything? I got a three-buck minimum, kid. Hey, why don't I bring you some carrot juice? Pine mm -hmm. nuts. ALF, Animal Liberation Fighters? Excuse me? Your tattoo. The first ALF in alfalfa is faded. The other letters must have been added later. So? ALF is short for Animal Liberation Fighters. Uh, Emmett, I'm going out to delivery, okay? Don't forget to order the tofu. I'll do that right now. Okay, see you later. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Olivia. more help than you can give them with that first aid kit. That lizard that bit him, it's poisonous. You watch too much TV. So now what? The ALF? Not those nuts. What did I do to deserve this? I treat my animals decently. Yeah, especially the endangered ones. Bart again. I make one mistake. One! Who else knew the Komodo was here? I, I didn't even tell Mr. Moneybag she was in yet. What's Dalesen's pet wholesalers? Supplier, pet foods, dog collars. Did you order anything special for the Komodo? I just called and asked what, what they feed large, ferocious lizards. Check out the uniform. Yep, it matches a piece of cloth, except for the blood in the tooth. This is the one. Wait a minute. Put these on. should find some interesting fibers. Hey, Shirley, take a look at this. Dried blood. It's Olivia. Man, she's not that 
white rabbit, you know, that always keeps disappearing. Maybe whoever she was coming to see is still here. Yeah. Olivia, let me out. Liberation fighters, they're pros. So why did she lock them in the storeroom? Difference of opinion? It's Bart. It's my aunt's homing pigeons. They've gone missing. So? What's the problem? They're homing pigeons. They'll come home. That's just it. They did come home. All but 14 of them. I know. Fourteen canaries from Pete's pets. You have to help me. My aunt's gonna kill me. Just tell us what happened. Okay, well, I came over to feed them and the cage door was open. Somebody had broken the lock. Bart, do you by chance know where your aunt gets her pet supplies? I went with her to Dalesons once. Know my theory? I think those pigeons found out there's a better place to live than behind chicken wire. I identified at least 10 different types of animal here from the pigeon coop. They matched the ones we found at the back of the truck. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Found anything yet? A couple of pigs and chickens got lifted from the petting zoo last month. I mean, anything exotic missing? Another Komodo dragon? The only other Komodo around here is at the zoo. I haven't read anything about break-ins. Oh, here, look. Department at Reddington U. Uh, they said they lost a pair of rare Amazonian centipedes. But who'd liberate centipedes? All these animals were taken in pairs? Yeah, pigs and centipedes. And guess how many chickens? Fourteen. Right. What do you make of this? I found it on the ladder rung of the pigeon coop. Might have come off our suspect shoes. Oh. Hey, it's pitch. My dad and I used it to seal the roof last fall. That's what I thought. Nothing adds up. We still have only one solid lead. Get lost. Emmett, please. It's about Olivia. But you were a vegetarian. Was. Here's to you, Olivia. Is she here? She split. I don't blame her. I was never good enough for her. When did you last see her? Yesterday, when you kids were here. What was she doing at Dalesons Wholesalers? Dalesons? She went to see him. The guy you're looking, I'm looking for, is Ian Holm. He works in the warehouse at Dalesons. He's ALF? He used to be. Up until a year ago, Ian and Amy ran the ALF. Then he left because he thought it was too soft. They were friends? Amy's everybody's friend. But Abe, he thought she liked him. You know, like, liked him. What do you mean? Well, I always thought the guy was a nut. But Amy, she believed in him. She said he was an innocent, and I just didn't understand his vision. That's the third time you've called her Amy. Yeah, and who's this Abe guy? Ian. We all took code names. It was Amy's idea. Olivia Malson, Ian Holm, Emmett Darius. But look, hey, guys, call me Gerald. I 
I can't believe she'd leave me for this guy. The fowls of the air by sevens, the male and the female. That's why he's been taking 14 birds. They're at the old shipyard. How can you be so sure? Gerald, Amy didn't leave you for Abe. She was just trying to help him. And now, I think he's abducted her. Your code names, they're anagrams, aren't they? Yeah. Anagrams? If you jumble the letters, Olivia Mousen is I Love Animals. Emmett Darius is Meet is murder. And Ian Holm is I Am Noah. The guy thinks he's Noah. And he's turning one of those boats into an ark. Why does he need Amy? Two by two, Emmett. Everyone on the ark needs a mate. Oh, Man, Abe really is nuts if he thinks he's going somewhere in this thing. He must assume that he's delirious and possibly dangerous. It's been 48 hours since the Komodo bit him. The what? Abe got hurt stealing a Komodo dragon. He must have called Amy for help. That's why she went to him. <laughs> That's just like Amy. Up here. Bartoming pigeons! Must have been the closest thing you could get to a dove. We'll send out a dove to look for dry land, remember? Say how to bark for us! Hey! Think no one ever had this problem? Emmett, we have no room for you or your friends. Abe, listen to me. You're sick. You need to see a doctor. The bloods are upon us. Leave her. Honor her. For she is to become the mother of her Abe, race. Abe, stop talking like that. You can't me out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but the rains are coming and our task is not yet done. Stay behind me. to Noah, enter the ark, you and all your household, for you alone I have seen to be righteous before me. Righteous or not, Abe, 
you leave Amy out of this? Get that man, get back, we'll let him out. Okay. Hey, Abe, let's not do anything stupid, okay? It's all right. Abe, we want to help you. Then, then the Lord said, I, I will blot out man whom I created from the face of the land. Abe, hey, there's not going to be a flood. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> My mistake. It's okay, Abe. We'll take care of you. Thanks. You guys deserve free veggie burgers for a month. Oh, damn. Thanks, but uh, we like to keep a low profile. Thanks to you. Pepperoni? Yeah, well, when I thought you left me, nothing seemed to matter anymore. I lost it. Gerald, you meathead. <laughs> you can do it. I know you can. See, Watson, it's that simple. He just doesn't get it. On the contrary, I think he knows exactly what you're saying to him. Then why won't he do it? My dear, if someone told you to roll over or play dead, would you do it? <laughs> I think Watson would do well as one of Abe's liberated beasts. Where would he go? And who would wash his ears? Abe's fever is down and he doesn't think he's Noah anymore. The doctor says he has an illness called depression. Amy says Abe will always follow his own special path, but that he needs some taken care of. Kind of like Watson.